Modern Jewelry Displays, Part 1 Let's get into it. The first display will have a spot for necklaces, bracelets, and an earring tray. I started with a few scrap pieces of African mahogany. Splitting what will serve as the base in half and planing it, as well as the other materials for the rest of the display, to about a half inch thickness. Then, trim them down to size with a compound miter, and round it over the corners. With a straight gouge, I cut a rabbit around the entire bottom edge of the base. After that was cut, I measured and marked the cut lines for the earring tray. Then used a ball gouge to create the tray relief. I didn't love how that turned out, so let's switch to the display racks while I mull over how to redesign. The display racks used a bridle joint for the stretcher and tenon mortises to connect the rack to the base. Using the table saw, I cut out the rack uprights and stretchers to half inch by half inch. Then mark the cut lines for the bridle joints and tenons. Using the table saw and the miter gauge, I cut out the tenons for the base connection. Then switch to the cross cut sled to cut the reliefs for the bridle joints. After getting the tenons cut, I went to work marking and cutting the mortises into the base for both racks. cleaned up the machine cuts with the chisel for a better fit. With both of those dry fit, I turned back to the earring tray question, deciding to use the ball gouge to cut more random texture into the tray area. After completing all the cuts, it was time for a finishing level sand down. Once smooth, I glued the rack stretchers into place. Let those dry, then glued them into the base. After those had cured, it was time for finish. And that's a wrap. Thanks so much for watching. To catch part two of the jewelry displays where I make a ring holder and toiletry tray, ring the bell. And as always, for more DIY projects and shop upgrades, like and subscribe. Until next time.